Good morning from day number two, trekking in the mountains outside of Karakol, Kyrgyzstan. It is just past 5.30 a.m. and the sun is rising over there. Got up and it's just perfect silence, no wind, absolute peaceful, nobody around. I've got this place all to myself. Came down to the lake to get, try and get the reflection shot with the 5D Mark III, the Lee Filter 6 Stop Softgrad. Um, now I'm waiting for the sun to hopefully give me some light over onto this peak and maybe brighten that up and see if I can get a reflection of that. But for right now, totally peaceful, quiet, filming a time lapse and yeah, perfect start to the second day trekking outside of Caracol. So the time has come for us to leave the Jurgis Valley. Uh, we spent the whole day hiking up the Jurgis yesterday and camped beside this beautiful uh, lake. Now we're heading to the Alamish Pass, which is separating the, the two valleys. And the next one is the Almalu Valley. So we'll be spending the majority of our day in the Almalu Valley today, heading down about 900 meters. But first we have to get to the pass, and the pass is called Aymalish. And it's uh, just outside of Karakol. So if you're interested in doing this hike and you find yourself in Karakol, be sure to check out the tourist information or one of the local tour operators, and they'll be able to give you all of the need to know on how to get up here and see this stuff. We made it to the Islandish Pass, 3,300 meters. Yeah, amazing. Weather is incredible, we can see for days. And we're going down into the Aymalu Gorge, this valley here. You guys did good, high five. Come on, bring it in. Oh yeah, nice. This is the Almalu Valley. There are a few words for how pristinely perfect this is. Pure nature, into the wild, just outside of Karakol, Kyrgyzstan. So weather has turned on us again. It's a little bit windy and there's definitely some rain in these clouds. So we're all huddling underneath this little tree branch taking shelter from the rain and we're near a shepherd's house and they've all came to say hi. I think and they've got little puppies. So we just left the local shepherd's house. The rain has stopped for now, and uh, it's time to head downriver to our next camp. So we're probably gonna set up the tents. It's a bit of thunder. Uh, right down at the very end of this. So about another maybe 45 minutes of walking, and then we'll set up early and have a few hours to chill. I've even been told that we might be able to make a fire, so that would be amazing. Let's see if there's any dry wood, and yeah, get a fire going. Oh. 
We have made it to our second camp. I am back in the yellow tent. Set up really quickly just to make sure that we could do it uh, without the rain hitting us. But it's actually looking all right out there. We got some beautiful views. So it's time to sit back for a few hours and have some chill time. Uh, today was about five hours, including some crazy weather and some beautiful valleys and scenery. Hoping to have a fire tonight and hopefully get the drone up around sunset too, because the scenery here is fantastic. Yeah. Cooking up dinner over the open fire. It is gonna be so good. Ah! High five. Huh. <laughs> yeah. 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 And the rain is coming down once again. I'm stuck inside of the tent the second time. In two days, it's getting dark too. It's about 8.30 p.m. So time to sign off from the second day. Hopefully the weather will be better tomorrow morning. I am gonna get up and shoot sunrise again. So I'll see you tomorrow. I'm caught in a storm in the tent, lightning and thunder, and it is absolutely crazy, hectic. Wow. Got some really nice light this morning. Very small window, it's already gone, but it did sort of, come up just over that ridge line and light up the sky. Got a super nice location this morning to shoot this river out into the valley with that uh, bridge across the river. It's just absolutely perfect for long exposures. So you got the 5D set up here with the two leaf filters. You got this is the soft grad six stop and then that's the hard six. So these are the, the two that I use whenever I'm near a river or a waterfall to really get that nice movement. So yeah, day number three, trekking in Kyrgyzstan. On to my second batteries for both the GH5 and the Canon, which means I should probably turn that off. Almost out of drone batteries and it's been amazing so far. Some crazy weather and rain and thunderstorms as well as beautiful uh, blue skies. And today we've got another five hours of hiking going up there and then down the other side. Right, we're about halfway up the ridge and it's really nice actually I was expecting a bit more overcast and clouds but super nice views into the valley behind me and got a ways to go here check this out that's where we're going Woo! back down gimbal so yeah the journey continues day three up to the second ridge of, uh, of our three-day trek oh and today ends at a hot spring I totally forgot about that. It's something very much to look forward to. Here we go. The rain has begun. We're almost at the top of the pass and it's even a little bit of hail, which is kind of hectic, but it's all in the name of the adventure. About 3,600 meters. And it's a snow and hail mix of perfect. <laughs> Made it to the top and I'm cold. Oh, and that was one of the hardest things I've done in a long time. We're almost 4,000 meters. It's August 12th in Kyrgyzstan, just outside of Kor oh, Karakol. And I gotta get down. My hand is freezing. Luckily I've got the right gear, but whew, time to get to a lower elevation. Just to give you an idea of how crazy the last two hours have been. Just slipping and sliding our way down that valley. It's totally fogged in and amazing to go from what we had yesterday to, to this is like a whole other world. This place looks like Iceland right now. Super photogenic, river coming down into this valley. We're on the snow line. And once we get to the bottom of that, that's where the hot spring is. 
and it couldn't be a better day to get into a hot spring. So fast forward about an hour and we are at the base of the valley, done the trek, done three days. The hot spring place is just right there. This is the final countdown and that was crazy. Started today at 2,600 meters at about 8 a.m. in the morning. Hiked a kilometer up. The pass was just over 3.6, 3,600 meters where there was tons of snow. Down, 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 down through the snow for like an hour and a half, two hours. And we finally hit that tree line where you saw the last spot there um, where the snow sort of stopped. And uh, overall, it's been about a kilometer and a bit to get down here. So one kilometer up, one kilometer down. And that's it. Four and a half hours from sun to hail to snow to sun. Let's go finish in hot spring. Lunch time. Okay. Go oh, eat. Yeah, man. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh, no way. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You came all the way to me. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Let's go to the town. <laughs> yeah. Have a real shower. Okay, yeah. yeah. It snowed today, dude. It really? No. Sulfur, kind of rustic. I don't think you can go any further right now. It's so hot. It's it's just hot. in like the beginning, yeah. I'm gonna have to film when we get further in there. Good time. Yeah. Me and Kenny back. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool yeah. to go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dude, this is so nice when you march. So after about 30 minutes in like 60 degree water, I'm feeling like baby soft. Incredible, what a difference after three days out in nature that just 30 minutes in, in hot sulfuric water can do to you. That is pretty awesome. So it's time to wrap it up out here in the wild and head back to Caracol and get a good night's sleep and then explore the city again tomorrow. Oh,